Well, Harmless Like You is a book about a Japanese American artist who ends up abandoning her son, and it's about how and why that happens. There's also a bald cat in it. Ta-da! And the first cover was the British hardback edition, which has a illustration of a young woman with a blue swipe of paint across her eyes. And I really loved this one, actually. It was commissioned from a artist that the design person found, I think on Tumblr. Someone told me that perhaps she'd based it on her own face, but I don't have her word on that. I think it was a really intelligent design because one of the things about the character in this novel is she's obsessed with color and with visual. She has incredibly strong visual impressions that she sometimes becomes completely overwhelmed by and unable to connect to the people around her. And so having the paint across her eyes felt really right. She also has quite period correct clothing, which I think is nice. And it also fits her character. She's a bit shy, so it's quite demure. So then when it came out in paper, back. I wasn't expecting a new cover, but it turns out you get a new cover sometimes. They switch to a photographic cover of a young Asian woman. And I must admit, initially, I was a very difficult author. And I went, but that's not what she looks like in my head. Because for me, there's something about an illustration, which implies like that this is an artist's vision. Whereas I was like, no, this is a photograph. And that's not what she looks like. And especially because in the first version of this photograph, this character had really long curly eyelashes and I talked to them about it and so they photoshopped out her fake eyelashes which is quite funny and actually it's one of these things where I've actually warmed up to her a lot like initially you know I think it was just because I had such a strong feeling in my gut about what she would look like she's also a bit sexier than hardback Yuki (laughs) which I find quite funny but I think they've done a beautiful job with the font and it's a very visually striking image and there's some stuff about newspapers and sort of what what does it mean to like see an image of yourself or an image of a young woman in a newspaper and she also does some photography and so actually I ended up warming up a lot to this cover despite my initial grumpiness. Then it came out in America and they kind of borrowed the British idea but this time it's a photograph but then they swiped different sort of a rainbow of colors across her face and then when it came out in paperback they sort of kept with the photograph idea but now they have a woman's face that's turning away which I actually also quite liked because it sort of it had the photographic quality but you sort of didn't know exactly what she looked like and it's this lovely burnt orange and blue I think for me there's something about translations that just feels like you're being given an extra treat so I think my poor British publisher had to deal with all my opinions and then all the translations I'm like oh what joy you've done your own thing that's so exciting so like the only edition that has the cat on it the bald cat is the dutch edition the german cover is also a photograph of a woman but this time the title's different because like didn't work in german to have harmless like you so they changed it to something that i think translates to like japan was pink and green which I feel like got the, got the sense of the colors. And it's a very beautiful one, actually. The Turkish edition also has sort of a woman. She somehow looks like quite mysterious and sexy again, but like very mysterious. She's almost entirely covered in paint on the back. We have her pouty, pouty lips as well. And then actually totally differently and the only cover that features her son, the story goes between her and her son as an adult who is going to find her. This is the Italian cover, which I think is incredibly inventive. And it has a little illustration of Jay looking at a hole in a picture. And I think it's very conceptual and surreal as a cover and I really like it. Also, interestingly, Harmless, which was a big concept for me in this book, which was that sort of nobody likes to be thought of as harmless, even though it should be a good Good thing you don't want to do harm but to be considered harmless and weak is it, it feels bad you know you don't want to be called harmless it sounds like an insult but the word harmless does not exist in romance languages so it's innocent like you in the italian uh, which i think has some of the same resonances i you know i but it, it sort of it spins slightly differently which i think is fascinating it's also in portuguese they also have to find a solution to the harmless problem uh, so like inoffensive like you and that's photograph of a woman's face who's quite actually looks like she could be on a detective show. I inadvertently 
wrote a book that was very challenging to translate. <laughs> um, so that is all of the harmless covers that are currently available. 